Just six games to go in the regular season. Trailblazers chasing that fifth spot in the West. What a beautiful day in the Northwest this afternoon. Legs are a little heavy after 76 games, but there's no time for rest now. We're in Portland once again tonight. Blazers look to close this homestand 4-0. Miami, another elite from the East, is in town. They're trying to hold the third seed in the Eastern Conference. Inside the Moda Center tonight, these two teams hook up. Here's Drogic in transition. Blocked from behind by Harkless. Blazers back the other way. That's how athletic... McCollum for three. Transition bucket for Portland. All because of the defense by Harkless. Yeah, that's how athletic he is on both ends. He can run the fast break on one end, block shots on the other. Portland needs to find some offense against this Miami defense now. McCollum pushes to the middle, throws it up at the rim and scores. He wanted the and one, but didn't get that. Joe Johnson battling Crab. Gets to the middle, is patient, missed the shot. Ed Davis grabs the rebound. Terry Scott says, run, run, run. <laughs> yeah. McCollum to Henderson, takes a corner three and drops it down. That's exactly what you want to do. Test them in the middle, but kick it back out for that open three. Andy getting a little frustrated with the way Portland's playing. CJ gets some room, hits the three, and that, that was a Drogic on Drogic. Yeah, Drogic's Drogic. shoulder gets some room and hit the shot. He got hit right in the chin. CJ again, left elbow this time. Well, dang, baseline off the mark. Amari Stoudemire got the rebound, and then Harkless affected the shot with the near block. That would have been a dunk in the old days. CJ for three. Got it. Oh, boy. Now he's coming off that high pick like Lillard. If both of them are coming off there, you have no chance. Plum, excuse me, McCollum hits. Plumley was charging down that right side looking for the offensive rebound. There would not be one. 15 for CJ. Pick and roll again. Plumley, right side, scores it over white side. Timeout, Miami. CJ tries a three, and it's good. Boy, McCollum has had a great night. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just an efficient night. He's got 18 points on 11 shots. CJ, Plumley at the rim. Oh. Jams. Pick and roll again, and McCollum, the easy shovel to Mason, who put it down. CJ. Whiteside follows him down the middle, gives it back to Plumlee, and he rims it in. So once again, that combination works. It sure does. Well, look at all the picks. Take CJ's it easy on my Anders. Yeah. That's when I draw the line. Here's CJ, a standstill three. Yeah. Maurice Harkless was Harkless. walking the other way when that ball was even cocked into CJ's hands. CJ takes a three. Good. Big shot there. Well, all the drama we had Thursday against Boston, not so much here tonight, and that's just fine with the Trailblazers. CJ, great game. Congratulations on the win. Congratulations on your individual performance. 24 points, six for six, a career high six threes for you without missing the three. But you're in a business where there's either point guards or off guards, and you spend a lot of time as a primary ball handler, as a complete guard. Talk about how you recognize the importance of being that complete. I, I felt like, you know, coming into this year, I needed to continue to work on my game and, and improve my ball handling, improve my decision making. and. That's what we need. You know, when Dame goes out of the game, I got to be able to handle the ball and make decisions for us. And even while he's in the game, I got to be able to make the game easier for him and continue to put us in the sets. And I think that I found a good balance between scoring and passing. Now I just got to keep my turnovers down. Talk about the balance on this team. Five guys in double figures tonight. You shoot 52%. This team has a lot of weapons coming down the stretch. Yeah, we do. A lot of guys are finding their rhythm. They're finding their role in this team and understanding you know, when they're going to go into the game, you know, where they're going to get their shots from, and how they can help this team. So I'm happy that we're hitting stride at the right time. And then defensively, the, you guys locked up Boston, and then tonight they had five offensive rebounds in the first quarter and just got seven the rest of the way. And I can rattle a lot of different defensive statistics. Talk about how you guys can play so many guys and, and not really have a set rotation off the bench and be improving defensively. Well, a lot of guys are active, they're long, they're athletic, and they're starting to understand our schemes and, and where to be at for the nail, where to be at on the help side. So I think guys are, are, are continuing to figure it out. Our coaching staff done a great job of, you know, shoot arounds, working on shell defense, and... Defense is more about one two, so we just gotta continue to want it. One last thing, man, I wanna congratulate you on. Those six made threes without a miss, you're the only the second player in the NBA this year to do it, and only the third in NBA history. <laughs> hey man, I just gotta credit my teammates and set good screens for me. Uh, I put a lot of time in and work on my jump shot every day, so glad to see the results paying off. Good job, man. Appreciate it.